Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to more Dice of the Republic. I hope you are doing, man. Stun a whole bit, okay. Let's just keep wandering around the outside of this place to see if we get a Just play. say the word. Crack it open. Odds of sniper shot getting a stun off right now are pretty low. It's a cool skyline. Astronauts flipping around up there. Pure Bazak. Well, I'm finding a bunch of junk, I know that. Alright, let's get out of here. Missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. Somebody shut that trash compactor up. It's 
much distance between them and us as you can. I'm doing all I can, and that's not enough. What'd you do to make these guys so mad? Well, either they hit us and destroy us, or they hit an asteroid and make the whole field go Nova. Just do your best to keep your distance. Get out of this year. What are the asteroids? They can be destroyed by us as well as them, can they not? That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. So, there's nobody allowed in that facility. There's nobody allowed in that facility. We search that whole thing. Just do Hold it. on. This is gonna get a little rocky. There's no way left. Wow. Follow me now, douchebag. <laughs> well, finally, I'll just kill the planet. Maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship was the Harbinger. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. What are those Sith looking for? Because me? you are the last of the Jedi. Once you are dead, then they have won. Well, I guess I kind of know that I'm myself in the Jedi Order. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. What happened to the Jedi? The Jedi Civil War destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. Uh. Good guy at the end of the island. What the Jedi on Dantooine? Of course. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the room of a thousand fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall. And the civil war that followed. The survivors still live. We need to warn. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Well, you said the Harbinger was on its way to Telos. Yes, to aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much of a choice, the Paragus astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragus. Can you explain how you tracked me down? You were difficult to find, but coincidence was on our side. When I learned that you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. I don't remember any of this. Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to. Per Be silent. We're having a conversation here. Silence, didn't you hear? 
beef out of you and your scrap. He says he repaired the ship. Goes repaired for us. this ship. My eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on. Get. Get away from the Sith. Now, how do we stop them? That is not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know. And I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. We'll stop them. We're going to keep coming. Look, enough with the Wii already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. In the end, I fear it may not be enough. You, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? Mandalorian Wars from my choice. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Sacrifice the galaxy. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. But we have spoken long enough, and my wound pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Also in private, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. <laughs> Look, uh, not like I care or anything. Might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. Hey, you're right, she may need help. Can you handle things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I'll go check on her then. I think you get dark side points. Uh, you get like a whole other thing going on. Is this room open? Now? What the? Seems like the remains of an HK unit, but older and more corroded than the one you encountered with Barakas. Its power cord still carries a charge, but never a departure from the gear missing. Destroys missing four critical. Components. It's a processor replacement with your chassis. The control cluster that's supposed to be stored in the chassis and it's for the calculator. It's a for calculator. We found a thing, so I guess I have to go find and like destroy other HK units. So that I can uh prepare this one. I do believe that is HK-47. Good, I don't need the repair skill to do with all that crap. I just gotta repair and repair. Alright, where are you at, Kraya? Well, at least that HK got our ship up and running and fixed up. and have a big old gaping hole in the side of it. There she is. Hello! Have you come for more answers? There is little more left to give. In your hand, is there anything I can do? This wound is a physical thing and will fade with time. It was necessary. Some things may only be learned from sacrifice. If I 
I felt the loss of your hand. What would have happened if you had died? I don't know. I fear that the consequences would have been more extreme. Is she missing her left hand? I thought she got hit in the right hand. I felt like my hand was dipped in a moment car and I... the sensation you would feel upon my death might be less than that, though much quicker. You're saying my life is tied to yours? Possibly, yes, and I fear it works both ways. I would not wish to test it, nor should you. Delusional old woman. This is definitely the guys who brought Fallout are doing this game. <laughs> oh, let's see. What can we do? I don't want my ashes to place you over this. When battle is upon us, I suspect our minds are prepared enough to shield each other from the pain. I think we shall not have a repeat incident of what happened at Paragus. It's Bond of Hat. Wait, oh, does our connection have any advantages? It seems the force flows easily between us. When one of us manipulates the force to heal or strengthen ourselves, the other is aided as well. Possess the force chain special ability. Either you use the force power on yourself, the other gains the benefit as well. A powerful cool. technique indeed. Though, as we have noticed, it has its drawbacks. I do not know. The Sith struck more swiftly than I thought, and they will not stop until they have you in their grasp. If you fall, all the galaxy will echo it. Is there any place we can retreat? It does not matter where we go. It is not the destination that matters. It is the journey. All paths will take us to the end, whatever it may be, and no matter how strongly we fight against it. For now, we are bound for Telos, and that is enough. Questions. Ask, and I will answer. You know more about the Sith. Aren't These you? Sith, they seek the death of all Jedi, as have all the Sith since the Jedi Order was first split. It was another Jedi civil war? Yes, the Jedi civil war is not the first one of its kind. Thousands of years ago, the Jedi had another civil war that split the Order. It was a terrible thing. A faction among the Jedi abandoned the teachings of the Order, following their own path. They waged war on their fellow Jedi, a war that raged across the galaxy. But these fallen Jedi were cast out, defeated, and they retreated to worlds in the Outer Rim. Over time, they took on the mantle of the Lords of the Sith, but in their hearts they never forgot the Jedi. The hatred for the Jedi Order burns in their veins like fire and echoes in their teachings. Revan tasted it as Malak did. Are they following Malak's path? In a manner of speaking, they are different from Malak in that they are concerned only with the destruction of the Jedi. For them, it is all that matters, all that ever mattered. It is a different war these Sith wage, a thing of silence and shadow. They strike from the darkness, hiding from the face of the galaxy until all Jedi are exterminated. After all the Jedi are gone, then the galaxy is theirs, no matter whether the Sith or the Republic rules. It is the dark side that shall reign, unchecked. Assassins like those who are I believe them to be the result of special teachings. Their apparent weakness against you is evidence of this. Those Sith assassins can sense their prey through the Force. It is like a hunger. They feed and grow stronger when they are near Force sensitives. The stronger their prey is in the Force, the deadlier they become. As long as you were cut off from it, you were able to evade their sight. But after Paragus, I fear that you will be no longer shielded from their eyes. 
all the eyes of their masters. The stronger you grow, the more will come. Questions. Tell me what happens. Much has happened in the galaxy in your absence, and since the defeat of the Mandalorians at Malachor V. Tell me about the Mandalorians. It is a tale you already know well. Almost a decade ago, the Mandalorians began preying on the Republic, bringing the fires of war to many planets along the Outer Rim. Their predations continued, winning victory after victory, until the Republic finally begged the Jedi Council for aid. Jedi Council didn't help, only a few of the Jedi Knights did. Indeed. The Jedi Council counseled caution and patience to assess the Mandalorian threat as the Outer Rim burned. Revan and Malak refused to wait. Two Jedi Knights, Revan and Malak, defied the Jedi Council. They challenged the Mandalorian fierceness and brutality on the battlefield with a viciousness of their own. Revan's entrance into the conflict marked the true beginning and end of the war. It was Revan who drove the Mandalorians back into the unknown regions. Even in their final battle, we almost lost the war. Yet Revan triumphed. But you know this, for you were there at Manacor V, and the Mandalorians were crushed beneath Revan's might. I don't know what five. Conflicts split the Jedi Order. You speak the truth. The war's end was merely another beginning, and what seemed a victory for the Republic was far from it. Many believed the Mandalorians defeated Manacor V, but the Mandalorians taught the Jedi much through battle, and so it was that Malak, Revan, and the Jedi that followed them discovered their true natures in the Mandalorian Crusade. But you know this. weakness, just as the Mandalorians did. In the end, the Mandalorians had taught them through conflict, shaped the Jedi, and turned them into a weapon against the Republic. What happened next? Revan and Malak, and all the Jedi that served them, turned against the Republic and the Jedi Order. Jedi fought Jedi. Revan was ambushed by the Jedi and captured. Malak continued to wage war in his master's place, inflicting terrible wounds on the Republic. Wounds that bleed still. How Malak and the Sith defeated? As all Sith do, without a strong enemy, the Sith turned on each other. Revan escaped the Jedi and returned to finish Malak, and that was the end of the Jedi Civil War. What happened to Revan? Oh, does Revan still... After defeating Malak, Revan left the Republic, and there are none who know where he has gone. It is said that the Sith remnants turned on themselves after Revan defeated Malak, reducing Korriban to ruin as the Republic still bleeds and struggles for life. Where Revan wanders now, I do not know. So Revan saved the Republic? It would seem that way from a certain point of view, perhaps. The Jedi Civil War left wounds that have yet to heal. We shall see if the Republic has the strength to survive. Let's do what we can until there's a chance to recover from the war. A culture's teachings, and most importantly the nature of its people, achieve definition in conflict. They find themselves or find themselves lacking. 
Too long did the Republic remain unchallenged. It is a stagnant beast that labors for breath and has for centuries. The Jedi Order was the heart that sustained its sickness. Now the Jedi are lost. We shall see how long the Republic can survive. We shall see. The Jedi Civil War cost the Republic much. The resources of the Sith seemed limitless. The Republic's was not. Fleets of warships, soldiers, and people were lost. Entire planets were decimated. Their inhabitants dead or refugees. It is a great burden for any civilization to bear. And this new threat, it is a quiet thing. Unlike the Jedi Civil War, it drives at something deeper than the strength of the Republic. It is aimed at you. Because I'm the last Jedi. The Republic was never what was important, ever. It was but a shell that surrounds the Jedi, just as the teachings of the Jedi are a shell surrounding the heart of man. You see, the war, the true war, has never been one waged by droids or warships or soldiers. They are but crude matter, obstacles against which we test ourselves. The true war is waged in the hearts of all living things, against our own natures, light or dark. That is what shapes and binds this galaxy, not these creations of man. You are the battleground, and if you fall, the death of the Republic will be such a quiet thing, a whisper, that shall herald the darkness to come. Ask. I would see to that fool in the cockpit and remind him of our destination. I would not want him attempting to veer from Telos. It's not so bad, just... He is a fool and an imbecile. His potential lies downwards, not up. Watch that one. His thoughts are slippery. I do not trust him, and nor should you. Such a man serves himself first and his allies next. I'm getting more of the paladin look going here. I mean, overall, I'm going to do more good than bad, but if something like scumbag needs to get his head cut kicked in, I'm going to kick his head in. Alright, let's look like a stopping point. Let's give it a good save. Uh, let's give it a good save. It's fine. Alright, guys, I will catch you all on the next Knights of the Republic 2, and I'll see you then. Later.